In this lecture, we will discuss about the minimalist spanning tree using the PIMS method. We have already seen in the last lecture that uh, the minimalist spanning tree is a connected cyclic graph of the original graph with the sum of the cost of the edges be minimum. And the, min uh, the PIMS method suggests that uh, you should actually find out the edges sequence starting from the root vertex and connecting every other vertex such that there is no cycle in between and the sum of the cost of the edges has to be minimum. You can think of a scenario in which there is a college and it has several buildings in which the teachers are sitting. Suppose the mechanical engineering department is situated in some other building, CS department in some other building, applied science and humanities department are there in some other building. Similarly, the civil engineering is some in some other building and electrical engineering is in some other building. And uh, there are the teachers sitting in every building. There's teachers sitting in every building. There are many teachers sitting in every building. And uh, in, an intercom connection is required to be established between them such that each of the faculty members can talk to each other. So uh, there is a complete graph we can think of a complete graph. Fine. I'm not able to write, I'm not able to join every vertex with everyone, but think of that there is a complete graph here. We know the distance between the sitting of uh, sitting place of one teacher to the sitting place of the other teacher. Now we can think of uh, building a minimal spanning tree by by establishing the intercom for establishing the intercom connection and uh, if we select the minimum distance part only then we will be able to make a connection something like this let's say the the sum of the cost of the edges is minimum here these are the sitting places of the teachers If this person has to call to this person, then via this line he can talk. So we have established this connection with the help of the minimum wires or the minimum length wires. So this may be thought of as one of the applications of the minimal spanning tree. Now here in the Prims method, what we will do we will take a priority queue and in this priority queue I will insert every vertex vertex 1, vertex 2, vertex 3, vertex 4, vertex 5, vertex 6 and vertex 7 and uh, we will set the key value of every vertex we are taking this key from our side a parameter from our side and we'll set these key values. The key of root vertex is set as 0 and key of all other vertex will be set as infinite. We think that these vertices are inserted in a priority queue. Let's say we are thinking that these vertices are inserted in the priority queue. And from this priority queue, I will delete the element which is of least cost or the least key value. Fine. So we are removing the least key value vertex from this priority queue. So obviously this one will be deleted because one is having key zero. Let us see the connections of connections from one. So in the graph the connections from one are six and two. The edge cost one to six is ten. Let us set the key value of 6 as 10. So the key value of 6 is set as the, distance, the cost of this edge, which is 10. And the key value of 2 will be set as 28. The rest of the vertices will remain same. The key value of rest of the vertices will remain same. 
Now we will set the predecessor of these vertices also. 2 and 6, both of these have got explored from 1. So the predecessor of 2 and 6 will be set as 1. And then we should again delete a vertex having the minimum key value. So 28, infinite, infinite, infinite and 10 and infinite. So out of this, 10 is smallest one. Let us delete this. 10 is vertex number 6. Fine. So let us see the connections from vertex number 6. 6 to 1. 1 has already got deleted from the queue. We will not take it again. From 6 to 5, the edge cost is 25. So let us update the key value of 5 as 25. If we are getting a shorter key value, we will update it. 5 has got explored from 6. So predecessor of 5 is set as 6. The key value of rest of the vertices will remain same. We remain with only 5 vertices now. Out of these 5, 25 is the shortest one. So let us delete, let us delete this vertex 5. From 5 the connections are 6, 7 and 4. 6 has already got deleted. 7, 24 cost. Let us update this. Four, twenty-two cost. Update this. So this seven and four have got explored from five. So the predecessor of four and seven are set to five. Then out of these four, this is the smallest one. So let us let let us delete that vertex. So 4 is the vertex which has got deleted. Let us see the connections from 4. 5 deleted. 7 there. The cost of this edge is 18. Earlier the key value of 7 was 24. 18 is shorter. Smaller one. So we will update the cost of or the key value of this 7 as 18. From 4 to 3 it is 12. So let us set as 12. Now the key values are this one. 28, 12 and 18. So, updations were done for 3 vertex and 7 vertex. All these vertices have got explored from 4. So, the predecessor of these two vertices will be set as 4. Since we have updated a value for 7, its earlier predecessor was 5, now its predecessor is 4. So, order these 3, the smallest one is this 12. So, delete this 12. Let us see the connections from 3, 3 to 2, 16, update this from 28 to 16 and 3 to 4, 4 has already got deleted so we will not update this. So for 2 the predecessor has changed, for 2 now the predecessor is 3. Fine. Now out of 16 and 18. We will delete this 16 one which is vertex number 2. From 2 the connections are 1, delete it, 7 is yes, there. 14 cost, it is the cost 18. Yes, obviously we can update it to 14. Now the predecessor of 7 will change to 2. When? From 2 to 3, 3 has already got deleted. So no question of taking it again. Now we delete 7. This is the only vertex remaining in the queue. If we delete this 7 vertex, since there is no other element in the queue, so there will be no updation. Queue has become empty. My work is done. Now let us see what we have achieved here. Let's draw the vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. From the predecessor it is clear that no predecessor of 1. Predecessor of 2 is 3. So let us draw 3 2 edge. Let us draw 4 3 edge. Let us draw 5 4 edge. Let us draw 6 5 edge. Let us draw 1 6 edge. Let us draw 2 7 edge. 
let's mention the distances 10 25 22 12 16 and 14 this actually is the minimal spanning tree so it's a very simple procedure you just maintain a queue set the key value of root vertex as 0 set the key value of all other vertices as infinite remove the smallest key value from that vertex explore other vertices if they are in the queue if you find the shortest this shorter distance shorter key value update that and at the same time update the predecessors also so predecessors are playing a very important role vital role because we are drawing the minimal spanning tree with the help of this, these predecessors. Now let us write this algorithm for the same. So this is the algorithm MST prim. And let's say G is given, W is given and R is given. What is W here? W is a weight matrix. The best way should be this one. It's a two-dimensional array weight matrix. Sorry. MST prim G, W, and R. So G is the graph, W is the weight matrix, and R is the root vertex given. In the Prim's algorithm, what we are taking, we are taking a queue, and that is a priority queue. So let's take a priority queue. Let's say PQ is the priority queue. And then initialize this priority queue such that it contains no elements initially. Fine. What we have to do, we have to set the key value of each of the vertex. So for all u, that is element of vertices of graph do. You have to set the key value of all the vertices as infinite. At the same time, set the predecessor of each of the vertices as nil means considering that there is no predecessor of vertex initially. After doing so, you will be setting the key value of root vertex as 0 and you will insert, obviously you will insert all the vertices in the queue. So let's say pq insert is the algorithm in which you are inserting a vertex u. And then you are updating the key value of root as 0. Fine. And then you will perform the, the similar operation by the time q does not become empty. So while not empty pq, your operation will continue. So you will remove an element from q. Let's say extract minimum is the operation through which you remove an element from the queue and let's say the element that you delete is u fine so from for whichever vertex you have deleted let's say this is u you will see all the connections from here fine let's say there are three connections from u you will see each of the connections one after the other fine so for each v that is adjacent to u, if you have the adjacency list, you will be able to find out what are the vertices adjacent to u. So for each v that is adjacent to u, do. What you have to do? This is v once. The w u v entry, w is a matrix which is the weight matrix. So weight matrix will be containing the distance of this or the cost of this edge, WUV entry. So if this WUV is less than key of V, it means, let's say the key of U was zero initially, and key of v is infinite and the edge cost is let's say 15 so uv edge cost is 15 
earlier the key value of v was infinite now the key value of v can be set as 15 which is the cost of the h so that's why we checked here if w u v is less than key v it means we can update the key value of v vertex so v vertex key can be updated as cost of the h and the predecessor of this key value will be u now we have updated the predecessor of this vertex v as u so we will see each connection from u and if the keys are updatable we will update the keys at the same time we will be updating the sorry this is the predecessor the key we have already updated we will update the predecessor here so this is pi v let us write it fresh pi v is equals to u so by the time we have the vertices in the queue this will continue once the queue becomes empty we will have the predecessor and predecessor will be telling us what is the uh, structure of the spanning tree so this is the MST prim algorithm since this is an algorithm so let us write this keyword algorithm here we will begin here we will end it thank you